Hello and welcome to the show both feared and revered by man and beast. Today, Kevin Samuels destroys another Karen. This should be good. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. I'm okay. How old are you? 36. 36. Are you single or are you married? I'm divorced. Okay. Any children? What could go wrong? I'm a 13-year-old daughter. Mm-hmm. So, uh... Man, I can, I can tell just by her tone. It's over, guys. The man you were married to, how much did you charge him for submission? Explain. Were you submissive in your marriage? No, of course not. Yes. Who fought <laughs> for divorce? <laughs> Stop the cap. Huh? Uh, oh, he did. You care to share the grounds? Yes, well, um, he was, uh, we were a military family, and there was a And that's Recording why you had to leave progress. him, right? So he, he filed for divorce because he cheated on you? Because you were being rude as hell, yes? Were you working? She was being rude as hell, I'll bet. What could go wrong? Did you watch my broadcast last night? No. What do you think about sharing a man? It's not really consistent with my values at this time, but I can see how it might be consistent. I mean, I, I don't have any judgment again. And Stop the cop. But do you want to remarry? Oh my lord. Well, monogamy and. Yeah, she's saying all the right things. Yeah, those two things aren't synonymous. And that's one of the big lies of the 20th century. Thanks to your marriage, did you use, when you got married, are you Christian? Okay, well then, in the Bible, where, where's monogamy in the Bible? See, here's what I, and I see, and, and I'm asking you questions because you were married and you couldn't forgive. Or you wouldn't retrust. Okay, fine. But now if you want to get remarried, some man is going to have to take somebody else's kids. They're going to have to share you. Yep. I'm wondering the blessing, so... Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. She's your blessing. Your daughter is your blessing. Indeed. Your daughter is a liability to a to. That's, no, that's not how that works. It's not how that works. Your daughter, as wonderful as she is, is she an asset or a liability to another man? To another man. She, she's the right man. She's an asset. To the okay, right. See now man. we get there, people. Yes. No. How is your child an asset when a, when a man... Okay, let's take it away from you. Let's take it to the mammal king. Let's take it to mammals. When, when males take over a pride or, or women, what happens to the cubs? What happens to the offspring? Of the other men? You know what happens. Bad things happen. Yeah, I'm asking you. I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. In the animal kingdom, when a, a male, when lions take over a new pride, what happens to the cubs of the other lion, the previous lion? They get eaten. You're asking me about when male lions. Yeah, ma'am. Is it natural for a man to take care of another man's kids? I'm not a lion. Ma'am, okay, I'm ma'am, not okay, a lion. okay, all right. So now, <laughs> we're, getting, now we're getting there. Now we're getting there. Ma'am, I just asked you, is it natural for a man to take care of another man's children? I can speak from the perspective of a 
What do you think, ma'am? I can't speak to, from the perspective of a lion because I'm not a lion. Said the person who's never read a single book in their entire life. See, Disaster. now when they start to be disingenuous or deflected, yeah. don't want to answer the question. Yeah, so yeah. for the people not understanding how we got here is you were married and your husband cheated. I'm taking your story as it is and you could not, over, you could not forgive. Okay. But you want to be remarried. You're coming into another marriage with somebody else's kid. That man is going to have to share you with those kids and another man. Why is it okay for him to share and not you? Because Your child, ma'am, no matter how you slice it, is a liability to another man. He has to pay for another me. man's seed. I know my worth. So that was his wait, wait, wait. So she had a kid even by a third man got another man that next man divorced her now she wants another man how many chances does this girl think she gets hold on your 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 husband your your husband was your daughter's stepdad Disaster. so you had a baby mama so you were, had a kid before you got married yep that made the story even worse even worse disaster yeah, as in you're a disaster. I want you to listen to what I'm about to say. If, why as a woman who chose to have a child outside of wedlock, why were you entitled to, do you think it's, I don't want to say, why, you were fortunate you even got married. Literally. And a man stepped in, yes. This girl must be bombing bad. I, and see, this is why I want you ladies to understand that women, women today, women today honestly believe Ma'am, uh, ma'am, unhealthy. Are you? You're just talking. You're talking, ma'am. You had a baby, and that's cool. I get it. But why didn't? Okay, why didn't you marry your child's father? Insert rationalization here. Look at her face. She's outraged. How dare you ask me that question? I'm asking why. I mean, I, mean, I just didn't want to. I mean, was the marriage material? So why have a kid material. with him, idiot? Yeah, he, he was someone that I did have a child with. No, ma'am. <laughs> see, I want you to, and, and see, the reason I'm doing this, ma'am, the reason I'm doing this is I want you to understand these women are so much character driven. And I want you to listen to the answers. D get over my tone. Listen to the intent. These character-driven women, I ask you a question. She's not being direct. It's not something I wanted to do. Then why did you make a baby with him? Because you're an idiot. Exactly. And, and there we go. There we go. There we go. When they start answering questions with questions, they're triggered and deflecting. This is all it is. So again, we got baby mama. We got baby mama. We got baby mama who, married, who had a stepdaddy. Stepdaddy who he was already sharing her with her kid and possibly the baby daddy because he decided to step out on the marriage if I believe her. I don't believe anything coming out of her mouth right now because she's been so disingenuous. Indeed. But even at that, she could not forgive. Fine. You got a husband. You had a, you had a baby daddy. You got a, 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 an ex-husband. Why do you women feel like you get unlimited men? Indeed. Maybe you're just out of the game, ma'am. <laughs> she's so disrespectful that's insane i'm not surprised she got divorced like a hundred times lordy lord you said you couldn't get over it ma'am you couldn't get over it man whatever ma'am i know what i heard i know what i heard you said you couldn't get over it i don't have to be exact but the bottom line is ma'am modern women are so goddamn entitled that's why i let this go guys because they come in with these pollyanna eyes and looking so innocent he cheated and he did this and all you're hearing is modern woman you already got a kid we're fortunate enough to find someone to marry you you say he cheated and stepped out if we believe the story is the way it is couldn't get over it then you want to get remarried one day cool but that man has to already share you with another man you made a child with 
And women think that's fair. Perfect. You can't make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. I want you to understand how insane that sounds to men. And she came in with, I'm, a, I'm my character. What fucking character? Literally. No I made it maybe because I wanted to. Character. Okay. Why did you do it? And I asked the initial question, how much did you charge for submission? No cost. Because she wasn't the least bit submissive. Wasn't the least bit. Not the least bit submissive. She came through the door with attitude. And I think the, the, some of the worst women to deal with are Christian, Bible-thumping, entitled, righteous baby mamas. Some of the worst. Indeed. <laughs> oh, my God. You cannot make this shit up. Enjoy that one. Disaster. Wow. The girl was a nightmare. Wow. Nightmare. So my critics and detractors, listen, don't get hung up on me. Listen to how women talk about men. Uh, hey, how how old are you? Thank you. Are you single or are you married? Okay, your head's off the camera, ma'am. You have to get on camera. Disaster. You can already tell. You ain't taking your scarf off, then go away. I don't know what I don't know what these people get off thinking what they got. I ain't doing this, I ain't doing that. Cool. I find it funny. The door. So many of my critics and detractors spend so much time worried about my tone and my words, and you don't listen to the venom and the sarcasm and the disrespect and just the disdain that comes yep. out of yep. women's mouths when they're just talking about men. Exactly. But I think it's funny. When women Freaking nightmare. get fed up listening to women's bullshit, they can say whatever the hell they want to. Gentlemen, these this stuff is going to be studied. Literally. We are seeing a path That's part of my channel. Ology play out <laughs> that is really rather crazy. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. I mean, wow. And I want you to understand, we got righteously indignant baby mamas. Literally. Hello. How old are you? I'm 30. 30. Okay, let's reset. Are you single or are you married? I'm single. All right. Any children? One. How old is your child? Oh, gosh. You're going to kill me, but he's three months. Uh-oh. Ooh. <laughs> mm. So, Veronica. But you know what? I'm going to get a good choose well. I could be considered a high value one. No, you no, you couldn't. You you would be considered a high value, or you would not. No, you wouldn't. I would be. No, you wouldn't. Okay. Why do you say? Why do you In think your that? opinion. Uh. uh. I, I <laughs> uh I what is it? I, I make the money. Yeah. Um, I'm confident yeah, I'm in myself. Five, so I can't you just okay. So you have the money. You have the self confidence. That's what makes a man attractive. Relationships where, you know, I have been proposed to. Um, I did just have a child. I've been with my guy for a few years, so I know you may. Are y'all still together? We are still, hold on, hold on. Go put it, go put it back in your mom's room. It's really quick. Really quick. Go put it back in there really quick. Are you, are you still with the man? Oh my God! Disaster! Oh, no, no, no! Yeah, no, high no, value no, no, woman, no. high value woman, guys. No, no, no! High value. Mm -mm. Very high value. Uh -uh. Very high value. You got to get that under control. All that background noise and highest all that value. Stuff. Highest value, that. guys. Highest value. So, yes, I am, uh, highest value woman, guys. Some, you, know, you saw it right here, guys. Highest value. Entrepreneur, uh, ma'am, are you, uh, ma'am, stop, stop. I'll let you speak Sorry. and I'm going to ask you a couple of questions because if you're with somebody, 
but I'm going to just be direct. What you what you just described as a high value woman, men don't give a shit about that. Literally, that does not make you high value. No. Uh, low, 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 low. See, I let you talk, okay, and you can tell me some. I don't know why you ladies feel so damn comfortable with some, just because you can make that up. No, but if you're with the guy, congratulations. I'm gonna leave it alone. Are you guys getting married? So, My lord, the yes background no. noise is crazy. Are we going to get married? Uh -huh. so, Excuse me? Yes, uh, you broke up. You broke up. Yes. So, I will say yes. He has a proposal. I will say yeah. yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah, for years. Uh, okay, have a good evening, ma'am. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, you, you're engaged, and the things I would say to you may wreck your relationship. Um, but I will speak in general. You know, when women are married, I try to kind of let that be because they've already been selected by a man. But. Disaster. I just want you ladies to ask yourself, did you hear submission requires good faith and humility? There is a peacefulness that comes around when women who submit. It's not something you do uh, with your teeth gritted. Yep. Exactly. And I just want you to ask yourself, as you listen to women, are you hearing humility and good faith? No. <laughs> if I put not. most women who speak, put their voice in a changer, you would think that the person speaking is a man by what comes out of their mouths. Indeed. It's insane how many women think I'm a high value. I mean, uh, that's not what men care about. I make the money. You know, have you heard that? Uh, some guys do. Meme. Okay, some guys. But at the end of the day, I want you to remember. The women who tend to make these arguments, all unmarried, the majority have kids. Indeed. Hello. How are you? Good. How old are you? Uh, I am 27 years old. All right. Uh, you turn your volume down a little bit. Turn it down? Yeah, you're getting kind of a reverb. Okay. Okay. Are you single or are you married? I am in a relationship. Are you, so are you single? I'm not All right. Uh, any children? you have any children? No. Uh, how long have you been in your relationship? 400 years. About four months. Do you want to be married one day? Yes. Okay. How much are you going to charge for your submission? Submission in my in my in my lifestyle is trust and being a provider. So trust and being a what? You want a number? On it? No, no. You said in your submission. You said is the trust and being a provider. Yes. Yes. Being like being head of the household. Like yes. Yeah, but how much are you going to charge for that? I'm going to charge what it takes to... No, no, no. Give, me, no, no. Give us a number. An I annual charge. number. How much are you going to charge annually for your submission? Our mortgage. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to be respectful. You know what I'm asking. Why are you resisting answering the question as it's asked? At least she's being honest. You don't, okay. How much is rent or mortgage? It depends on where you live. Of course. See, the reason this question is effective, gentlemen, is because it makes women actually ask, and you see how they squirm. You're squirming, and I'm just asking. How much are you going to charge? Meaning, how much does your man have to make annually for you to choose to be submissive to him? Over, over six figures. Clueless. What does that mean, ma'am? Over six figures. Over 
All right. I'm really trying to be patient. I'm about to not be. And if I just, if that happens, it won't be because I haven't tried. Over six figures. Put it in a ballpark, ma'am, an approximation. No, ma'am, give me a number. Close it, round it to the nearest $10,000. That's mm-hmm. crazy. What state do you live in? Florida. What's okay? What city? Miami. I'm sorry. What you city? Uh, Miami. Okay. Do you want children? Big surprise. Yes. How many? Four hundred. Two. Do you want to be a housewife or do you want to have to work? Obviously not. I work, but I would. I... Do you want to be a housewife or do you want to have to work? I like to be a housewife. Okay. Indeed. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars in Florida don't go very far with family of five. Correct. Okay. But I do make. I do make. Housewife don't make nothing. Now, all I'm asking is, see, this is a good question for you guys to ask women because you see how they're trying to do the calculations, and what they're really saying is, uh, I charge a hell of a lot of money to submit, but I don't want to say it because it sounds bad. That's right. But y'all don't mind charging it. I, I mean, I would like a financially stable man. I, I personally That's that not I what you're saying. By what you're saying. Cook and EMI feminine place. Okay, so I'm going to ask you. Okay, so um, like I said earlier, when I was talking to people, how did you come? How did you set your price? How did you set your price? Yeah, because you said you were like a man who does X, Y, and Z. Uh, How did you set that number? How did I set that number? I I just arbitrarily chose it based on how attractive I think I am. The cost of living where I live. Based on my Instagram page. And you're 27? Did you go to college? Yes. What's your degree in? Uh, Women's studies. Oh. What do you do for a profession? Nothing. Uh-huh. So, you set your femininity price based upon what you want your man to make based upon your income. Yes, you are. Ma'am, you want to be a housewife. He has to make more money. Well, he has to make enough for the lifestyle I'm looking for. Right. Indeed. And what is that? A luxe lifestyle? At least $250,000. $250,000 a year today with no children. That's what you're not adding. See if you're making if you're see what you're basically what they're basically no offense but y'all don't think about anything else other than yourselves. He has a lifestyle. He has to pay for your lifestyle, and he has to pay for these kids. So how much is he going to need to make? A lot to replace your income. Probably double that, honestly. Well, well, if you're a business, but if you're a business person. And you're charging for your feminine submission, don't you? Don't you think you should know how much a man needs to make to afford it? Because you said two hundred fifty, and I just said not in Miami, but you're talking like a single woman. But you're on the market. And I wasn't being modest. You're modest. I just don't think you were given the number, factoring in kids and what it's going to cost. So how much is a man going to need to make then for your submission? There's no figures. chance, kid. Oh, your... Sorry, no chance. Mother and father do for a living? My dad buys and sells private jets and refurbishes that. What did your mom do? My mom was a traditional housewife. Okay. Um, did your mother raise you to be a traditional housewife? Yes. Clearly not. Look <laughs> at Kevin's face. Oh, I was man. raised to cook. I did, no matter what time it was. 
Traditional housewives don't run e-commerce businesses. Indeed. Correct. Traditional housewives generally are married before 25. Correct. So what did you do wrong? Traditional housewives are generally married before 25. There you go. Correct. And then if a, do you, what ethnicity do you want your husband to be? Oh, God damn. A minority. She's also a womanist. I said ethnicity. Why can't y'all answer? A minority. Ethnicity would be... Black, white, Hispanic, Asian, or other. Which one do you prefer, man? Okay. Now, I want you guys what to understand something. That guy? This is men are very simple communicators, direct. And I want you to under, I want you guys to go through my videos and listen to how many times I ask a direct question and I get some vague bullshit indirect answer. Yep. This is the technique women typically do to try to frustrate men to get out of our frame. It's a control tactic. It's what girls learn in order to and it's when you they learn this as little girls to exert their influence. You know exactly what you're doing. I'm just calling it out. It's not cute, it's not funny. It's it's not. It's true. It's really not. But I'll I'll do this because you think you're getting something out of it, but I mean, you know the question I'm asking. I asked you ethnicity, I'm my more a minority. When you say then why not just say that first? Excuse me? I said I'm getting more comfortable. Are you Disaster. Okay, well, Kevin destroyed the Karen, that's for sure. We're going to end the video there. <laughs> hit the like, hit the sub, hit all for notifications. Drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian R, Tom M, Bobby, Dylan, Renaissance Press, Brian, and Andrew, and Alan. Shoutouts to you, most recent purchaser of Strategist Guide to Seduction. Thank you. You can buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios Books. Thank you to everyone that's bought. My Patreon, if you want to get my videos early, you don't just want to watch one per day, you want to watch like three or four, well, just go to patreon.com slash the Helios blog. Want me to help you out? I do also offer coaching services. Just message me at the Helios blog at gmail.com, that's my email, and I will slot you right in. Thank you so much for listening, guys, especially if you listen to the end. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.